The idiom "四面楚歌 originated from the history book "Records of Grand Historian," written by Sima Qian of Han Dynasty. It literally means the songs of the true state arising from all sides. The story behind is about the final battle between Liu Bang and Xiang Yu in 202 BC. After overthrowing the Qin Dynasty, Xiang Yu and Liu Bang agreed to take Hongou Canal as the boundary of the two states. Later, Liu Bang took the advice of Zhang Liang and Chen Ping. He waged a new war against Xiang Yu when the latter's army was not strong enough. So he joined the forces to pursue and attack Xiang Yu's troops. After several fierce battles, Xiang Yu lost most of his army. He was tightly besieged at Gaixia of current Anhui Province. To crush enemies' morale and hope, Liu Bang ordered his soldiers to sing the folk songs of Chu region around Xiang Yu's army camps at night, which could arouse the homesickness of those soldiers. Xiang Yu was so shocked that he couldn't help thinking, "Has Liu Bang already occupied the Chu's land?" Why are there so many true people in his army? At night, he stayed with his beloved concubine Yu Ji, drinking a lot of wine. He knew that he would lose the battle. In the end, Yu Ji was afraid that she might encumber Xiang Yu to retreat, so she killed herself in front of him. Then Xiang Yu decided to escape from the encirclement when it was still dark at night. At the bank of the Wu River, Liu Bang's soldiers caught up with him. Xiang Yu saw no hope to run away and felt ashamed of facing his relatives, clansmen, and followers. Finally, he committed suicide by the river. Nowadays, the idiom can be used as a metaphor for someone being surrounded by enemies on all sides hopelessly. It carries a derogatory connotation.